Hello everybody, as you can see, I'm in India, precisely Agra Uttar Pradesh, in front of one of the seven wonders of the world, the Taj Mahal. It was built over the course of 22 years, from 1631 to 1653. Over 1,000 elephants were used to transport all the building materials, and it took 22,000 people to build it. Why was such a majestic construction built in the first place? The Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan built it as a tomb for his favorite wife, Empress Muntas, who died giving birth to the 14th child. Later, the Taj Mahal housed the tomb of Emperor Shah Jahan himself. The Taj Mahal is a mausoleum made of ivory white marble. It stands up to 240 feet tall and it is surrounded by 55 acres of beautiful gardens with manicured flower beds, tall trees and water fountains. Even though the original Mughal architecture used red sandstone, Shah Jahan promoted the use of white marble, semi-precious stones. The emperor elevated the level of Indian architecture with details and refinements never used before, using new elements like white marble from Rajasthan, jasper from Punjab, and jade and crystals from China. The Taj Mahal stands out even more because it is bordered by red sandstone walls. Within the walls, there's a mosque and a guest house. Outside the walls, there are several mausoleums that house Shah Jahan's other wives. With the tomb in the very center of the whole complex, the Taj Mahal stands on a square plinth. The whole construction is very symmetrical with an arched shaped doorway called an Iwan topped by a large dome and finial. The base of the structure is a multi-chambered cube with bevel corners that form an eight-sided structure. Every side of the vaulted archway is framed by a huge pishtak, which in Persian means a portal decorated with tile work and with the addition of two arched balconies stacked on either side. The design of stacked pishtak is what creates the perfect symmetry of the building. The inner chamber is in fact an octagon with an entrance on each face. Here we notice the beauty of flowers carved in marble, the details in pietra dura, and archways in the mosque. Actually, Muslim tradition forbids elaborate decor of the graves. This is why the main chamber houses the false casket of Mutaz Muhammad and Shah Jahan, while the actual plain which is a type of tower normally built adjacent to the mosque, used for the Muslim call to prayer. At the top of the construction is the dominating dome. It is often called an onion dome because of its shape. The top is decorated with a lotus design or an aquatic flower. The mosque also has four smaller domed kiosks at each corner, and these are called chatters. The roof was designed to also provide light into the interior. 
The dome is topped by bronze finials, which mixes traditional Persian and Hindustani elements. The main gateway is a structure originally built in marble, which replicates the architecture of the complex. At both sides of the gateway are two red sandstone buildings facing the sides of the tomb. The Taj Mahal shows the best example of Mughal fine art and architecture, with elements like paint, stucco, pietra dura, stone carvings, calligraphy, abstract forms, geometric motifs, precious and semi-precious stones. Without a doubt, it represents the symbol of India's rich history. This wonder of the world attracts millions of visitors every year.